What's cracking, ladies and gentlemen? This is TJ Quake, the Ghetto Gamer. What's cracking? That's right, we are back once again with some craziness once again for your eardrums. That's right, I'm here to tell you what it's all about, and I'm here on part two. Part two, ladies and gentlemen, of uh, my whole deal on the She-Hulk deal, uh, the comic uh, that they decided to make onto a TV series on Disney+. Plus. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> Not. Um, but all I want to do is I wanted to come back with this part two. This is going to be a very short video, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, I'm not going to make it too long on this one. I just wanted to get out uh, the trueness. And this is for people that are not familiar with She-Hulk and how she became who she is. Okay. Miss Walters and how Miss Walters, uh, you know, ends up getting, uh, you know, the drench of uh, the, the blood transfusion from, uh, from her cousin, Bruce Banner, the Hulk, the incredible Hulk, the one that they have literally destroyed now on Disney plus, um, and the MCU, it's, it's no longer Hulk. It's, um, uh, I don't know, Mr. Professor Hulk, he's, uh, you know, all straight and, you know, how you doing, how you guys doing? Dun, 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 dun. That, that, that's him now. Okay, um, he, he, he's not the Hulk anymore. It's no longer the Hulk. But now they want to just shove him up because that was what the first series was because they're in episode two. The first episode uh, was utter crap. Um, everybody's been talking about it. Everybody knows it and everything. Anybody that knows about who She-Hulk is knows this show is crap. And that's what I'm here to do today is today I want to actually present to you from my boy, it's a Gundam, and I follow his channel too because he's a, he's another great uh, YouTuber out there. You guys got to check his channel out. Um, he's one of these classic uh, comic comical uh, co um, commentators on YouTube, uh, and he he just puts it out there in a sarcastic, very comical with his cool Gundam vibe. You guys got to check it out. But I love his take on what he did uh, with. She-Hulk truly is. He goes back and shows you the actual comic book, a little portion of it, of how She-Hulk becomes She-Hulk and what she and what, what actually turned her um, to becoming into She-Hulk uh, when, 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 it, when it really came down to it after she actually got the, uh, the blood of, uh, you know, Bruce Banner. Okay, when she got his blood injected, she didn't right away turn into the She-Hulk. Right away, like they show in the in the freaking MCU uh, week comic, uh, She Hulk uh, attorney at law whackness. No, that's not how it happens. She doesn't roll down the freaking cliff with Bruce in the car and saves Bruce, and and then all of a sudden she's the hero and she gets his blood put in her, and all of a sudden she runs off like like the Incredible Hulk. Like Argh! it was so stupid the way they did that. It was dumb. She gets the blood drips in her vein, in her, in her, in, into her thing. All of a sudden, her veins start turning green and everything, you know, and she gets really upset. She leaves Bruce there, and the, the, the guy who supposedly should have turned into the Hulk when they first ran down the thing. But I guess he had some uh, little device that made it to where it controls his Hulk, hulking and everything. I don't know why he didn't just hit the damn thing when they're rolling down the thing so that he would turn into the Hulk. But, you know, they, they couldn't do that. They have to make it to where, you know, Miss Walters actually saves Mr. Bruce Banner and pulls him out and rescues him. And then she goes hulking off somewhere into the forest somewhere. I was like, what the hell is this, dude? Look, it, 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 they almost made it almost look like the way she was running. It looked like Bigfoot, like a scene out of Bigfoot. You know, Bigfoot's running like this. And all of a sudden he turns around like this. <laughs> You get that slight picture. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that 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 was the, that was the scenario that they did here. It was most cheesy as bullshit. And the way she turns into the She Hulk for the first time when some some douchebags freaking mess with her. I'll which I'll, we'll get into. We're gonna show you that. But real quickly, I want to show you this. Show you the real essence. Of, uh, and he does this. Gundam does a perfect job of showing how um, it was done in the comic book. 
Okay, he's going to show you the comic book version of it. It's classic. And when I saw that, I said, why didn't they do it this way? You'll see why when I when, when you see this real quick, because I'm going to show you this real quick. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am your TJ Quake Ghetto Gamer Pop Culture Talk. And that's what we do here. We talk about pop culture. We talk about news, video games, comic books, movies, you name it. We throw it at you all the time. And I give it to you from TJ Quake's perspective, a ghetto flavor perspective, which I always call layman terms, you know, um, and I get crazy, I get raw, I get loud with it, you know. I got some people sometimes, you know, that, you know, uh, most people dig on the flavor. Then you get some people out there that hate on the flavor. Last person uh, hated on the way I uh, judged the whole Hulk movie uh, thing, uh, She-Hulk deal. I had the nerve to get on there and talk about, you don't provide any context, you're nothing but noise. Oh, 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 you're nothing but noise. I'm like, dude, nobody gives a flip about what the, what the hell you talking about. You think I give a shizzle? What comes out your mouth, dude? I don't. <laughs> I don't care. And so forth. But, you know, sometimes you got to throw a word back at these fools because these fools think that you're a lame duck and you're like all the rest of these, oh, you know, little weaklings out there that think they can pick on. You ain't picking on me, bro. I can care two, two shits so about you. Come at me anytime, bro. I'm ready to go to blow. Word for word. Anytime, pal. Do it. Let's go at it. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. You know, I could throw it right back at you. A lot of people don't like it when you throw it back at you. They act like you're the one that's the problem. I'm like, and I say, dude, it's your your opinions, your opinion. I keep your I keep everybody's opinions on there. What they say, but you know, when they want to get stupid and say stupid shits, like you know, you're nothing but noise. Whatever, motherfucker. <laughs> Give a flip about you? <laughs> Everything. That's because I'm loud and I am noisy. That's the way to wake your asses up that are out there so stupid with this woke bullshit that we got all the time and so forth. But that's my little pit peeve on that and everything. Let's get into the craziness at hand, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys because this is what I was talking about. And this is how She-Hulk really becomes She-Hulk. Let's go ahead here with my boy Gundam. He's going to go ahead and give you guys a little something, something, a little bit of flavor if you want. And then we'll, we'll, we'll close this. Go on, my brother. Let me get this. My hand stand up here. There we go. Woo! Sounds good in the ears. All right. Let's do this bad boy. Put that right there. Okay, y'all ready? Here it is. This is for you people out there that don't know the true history of She-Hulk and how she became She-Hulk. This is for you people that are coming to this with, with newness. You're, you're not really comic book people. You, you're just watching the TV series for the first time and you think that this is the way she came. She became She-Hulk. We're about to show you differently. This is the trueness. Go on, my boy. Gundam. Superheroes thrown in it. Yay. In the comic book, Jen survives a murder attempt on her life by the mobster Nick Trask. I probably said that wrong. Since she is defending a criminal by the name of Moncton, who is framed for a murder by Nick, right? Banner warns her of the danger she faces. She ignores him, obviously. She's like, oh, those sort of things only happen in movies. Then hitmen are hired to take her out. As soon as she gets out of the car, she's shot. Now Banner has to fight becoming the Hulk while also trying to save her life. And now look, see right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is where she Hulk got shot. She, you know, she, she got shot by these mobster cats. Okay. Bruce comes to the rescue. That's how that shit's happened in the comic book. Bruce comes in there and has to get these fools off of her before they take her out. But let's go. Let's continue. And avoid being arrested. You see, in the comic books, the Hulk isn't running around drinking soy lattes. He's on the run. Mm -hmm. And even as Banner, he seems pretty badass. After he successfully gives her a blood transfusion by breaking into a doctor's home, he calls for an ambulance, where he is subsequently arrested, and Jen ends up in the hospital to get the treatment she needs. Now, while she's at the hospital, Banner has to escape the police because he has no ID, no information, and they're looking for the Hulk. He fits a description. While he's escaping, the hitmen go to the hospital to finish Jen off. And that's where she becomes She-Hulk. Okay, now right here, as you guys can see, this is where she uh, she's about to be killed by these fools. These fools are about to get ready to take her out. Now, this would have been... 
the, the, the way it should have went down. The way you should have saw her for the first time when she turns into She-Hulk. These guys come back to finish the job. These are the mobster cats. She's in the hospital laying in the bed right here and so forth. And they're getting ready to put some stuff on her freaking nose. And as you can see, they're getting ready to poison her ass, holding her down, the whole thing. No! Ah! You know, the whole thing is going down. It's getting crazy. Yeah, we're going to take this girl out. But, you know, and she goes, you're not no doctors. <laughs> Hold her. Let's get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> so this this is what gets ready to happen and this is when you see the real deal code go down go on my brother finish off what you were saying and that's where she becomes she hawk for the first time this Ooh. is a much more interesting origin story than what disney marvel came up with see look at that this is when the, he's right this is way more interesting. Why didn't they do it this way? This would have been so much more badass. Ladies and gentlemen, you would have saw She-Hulk become the She-Hulk for a reason. You know, not because some douchebags at a bar come out there, hey, cutie. Hey, what's going What you doing, baby girl? Hey, hey, what's going on? You want to talk to us? Yeah. All this stupid shit. I'm like, what the hell is all this? There's some typical dumb shit that you would have saw from like in the 80s. And everything, you know, the typical girl out there and the and, you know, and these guys, you know, come out to go mess with the girls. Like, why? You know, like that shit really goes down all the time nowadays. Oh, all, all men are like this when they go to the club. It, give me a freaking break and everything. And you're going to see what I mean, because he's going to talk about it real quick. Disney Marvel had a goofy car crash that involved aliens and whoa, is Captain America a virgin? Oh, this is funny. He's gay. And she becomes the Hulk and ends up at a bar. It's a stupid scene. It's supposed to be funny. These women meet her in a bathroom and talk about, you guessed it, abusive men who did this to her. Oh, girl, what happened to you? Who did this what to are you? Your shoes? Are you okay? Okay, no judgments, but whoever oh. did this to you does not care about you. You do not need him. Oh. Or her. Uh -huh. Or them. Mm. But you do need this. shoes. This yeah, or her or them. You see how they, they, how they put that in there? You do not need him. Or her or them. Oh, yeah. Got to throw the wokeity woke up in there. Got to throw all the, you know, pro pro pronouns. Oh, I'm a they. I'm a them. I'm a her. I'm a ying. I'm a double double e. <laughs> that, yeah. Typical dumb shiz. And that's the reason why this show is just stupid. But let's carry on. Now that's comedy. Because obviously a boyfriend would do this to it. He'd beat her, rub her in filth, and steal her shoes, mama. Men are trash, hashtag. They clean her up and give her a fur coat. Lord only knows why. And while she's outside, predatory men show up and start talking to her. And she becomes the Hulk when they insist to speak to her for some reason. So far, watching the She-Hulk episode one was pretty much men are either incompetent or predatory. And there you have it. And ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. I just wanted to show you because Gundam put it down. He put it down perfectly. He showed you. What I liked is how he showed the comic and everything. How he showed the little comic book strip thing right here. You know, you, you, you got to see all this right here, which what I thought was the, the bomb. David Banner coming over here, giving her the, you know, the blood transfusion right here. You know, hang in there, kid. You're going to make it. You gotta make it. Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> it's done. Now for the worst part, the waiting. Because Bruce already knew that, you know, now he gave his blood into her. It's 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 not gonna be probably good because now she may end up becoming, you know, what he is. And he knew that he had to do what he had to do in order to make this happen because she would have died if he didn't. So he just he made it happen. And that's how She-Hulk becomes She-Hulk. Not because she flew over an embankment after a freaking flying saucer comes out in front, in the front of them and they both crash into this freaking pit down below and she manages to be the one that's not hurt, really. You know, she's cut a little bit, but Bruce is completely knocked the flip out and everything. He's all hurt. And, oh, oh, get away from my blood. <laughs> so stupid and everything. You know, and of course, what they don't mention is that the woman gets the, the gets the the powers of the man, and when she gets the powers of the man, now she's she's the one that's better than the man. Isn't that weird how that happens? You know, we 
We t- we taught you how to do the do. We show we showed you how to freaking box, and now all of a sudden you think you better. <laughs> That's what this pretty much the show shows. Well, we do it better than men. I do it infinitely better than you. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> whatever. And then, of course, you know, they send Bruce off and the Hulk off to, to a wasteland. And now he's no longer relevant and so forth. And it's just She-Hulk now, you know. Um, and this is not the way She-Hulk was portrayed in the in the comic books. I loved the way they did it here in the comic books. How she becomes She-Hulk from these foods getting ready to try to finish her off because they didn't finish the job the first time. And that made something more, that, that was more impactful, more devastating, more raw, something that, you know, that, that's what you want to see She-Hulk do. Turn into something raw when some foods are about to do some evil domestic dis- craziness and everything and her life depended on it and she becomes the she-hawk and says not today not now suckers then you can see her beat down some freaking dudes that's when it feels good that's when it feels right when there's real justice to be seen there was no justice to be seen when she turns into the Hulk because some freaking douchebags in a bar come out and say, hey, baby, baby, hey, cutie, cutie, hey. You know, the cat calling stupidness that never really happens. <laughs> it's like, come on, man, give me a damn break and so forth. They couldn't have come up with something better than that so they come up with some cheese ball shiz instead of sticking to the original lore, the original comic book material that would have been so much better. This was a hundred times better, man. If they would have did it this way, and then, man, oh my gosh. Man, they messed up on a good thing, God, you guys. But I'm glad Gundam showed this. You guys need to subscribe to Gundam's channel, too, because he, he, he is a cool cat, funny guy, dude. I love his comical commentary on stuff and everything, and he puts it to you real on the movie industry and all this other stuff out there. He's another cool classic guy out there with geeks and gamers and the rest of them, you know. And I, 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 all I got to say is I'm going to keep putting out stuff like this to show people the truth about stuff because people need to see the behind the scenes, what's really going on. That's my thing. If you guys, if, you, if the industry wants people to come back to watching movies again, come back to stop saying their movies suck, then they need to stick to what is the real deal. This was the real deal. The way they did it in the comic books was that they shouldn't have changed it. I would have loved to have seen it like this, not the way they did it in the freaking Disney comedy. She and it's like, like, why are they making it into a comedy thing? Like, so everything's gonna be goofball stuff and everything. Man, remember when Daredevil came out on Netflix? Man, Daredevil was raw. You saw how raw it was. It was serious. It was comic books brought to a serious level. It was a realist vibe about the show. That made Daredevil that badass, and then they they spun off other shows from it. You know, Luke Cage, another who's black, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys don't think they make comic movies off of black people, well, look at the movie, uh, the TV series Luke Cage off of Netflix. It was excellent, beautifully done. You know, and it was in it was in the hood. It was it was it was dealing with hood issues, and I love the way they did that. It was perfect. And, you know, the majority of the cast is a lot of blacks in the cast. So if you guys keep talking about, oh, there's no diversity, well, then why don't you guys check out stuff like Luke Cage, Black Panther. There's other people out there that can come out, directors, movie directors. You guys want to make some movies with some diversity, some black on, some black characters, some Hispanic characters, whatever. Go to, there's plenty of comic books out there that show that. Isom, getting ready to hit the stage, Yes. Eric July, I'm always plugging Eric July. You know what I'm saying, Ripovers. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's gonna be the next one. You guys want to see real comic book flavor? You guys want to see stuff that goes right back to where it should be? Go check out Eric July's stuff. That's right, Ripoverse. Check it out. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's that's what I'm here to show you. I just wanted you guys to see this real quick. Show show what uh you know it's a Gundam had to present here. I thought it was excellent. That's the reason why I had to you know I had to put his his flow up on my channel real quick so you guys could see how this because I love the way he presented this. He presented it with a whole comic book thing and and, and oh it was just I love the way he did this. It was just really good and it shows you. 
the real deal. So for all you people out there, this is what you need to start telling the other people out there. Share this video. Share his video and everything. I'm TJ Quake, your ghetto gamer. If you like what I bring to you, <laughs> then please give me a little subscribe. Subscribe. Push the like button if you like it. And if you don't like it, hit the dislike button. It's all good. I'm all good for everything. And I appreciate comments, whether they're good or negative. But don't worry, though. Don't, don't, don't get it mistaken. I will come back on you. <laughs> you can give a negative comment, but I'm coming back at you with some shiz, too. Hey, just to let you know, this is, a, this is a free bowling game right here. We can come back at you. I can swing at you. You can swing at me, and we can do it all day, mother flips. I'm all about that. It's all good because it's freedom of speech. You can say something. I can say something. And as long as both people know what their dis, what their priority, what you know, what the what the rules of the game are, we can keep at doing that. I don't have a problem with it. It's all good to me, and so forth. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is TJ Quake, yo ghetto gamer, uh, and I'm out. You know how I do. Peace. I made a funk be with you. Here we go, uh, I'm TJ Quake, the ghetto gamer, on this game is thing. Hey, yeah, yeah, TJ Quake, the ghetto gamer. Yeah, yeah, here we go, uh, yeah, I'm TJ Quake, the ghetto gamer, on this game is thing. Gonna bang him up, gonna shoot him up, right here on the game is thing. Bang, bang. Blaze them all up, TJ Quake, we bust them like one, two, three, here we go.